What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Featured. You guys all know Mike, Street Speed 717. Well today, we're gonna be reviewing his lifted Duramax. So Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your Duramax? All right, well, this is my 2005 LLI Duramax. Started life as a, well, started its life with me as a totally bone stock car with a pap cap and all on the back. And, or bone stock vehicle, I should say, not a car. Um, and basically, over the last three years, I've done quite a bit to it and brought it to its current state. So the first thing I did was a six inch lift. The first big mod I did was a six inch lift on 35s, a 20 by 12 rim. And now I've moved up to, that was a zone lift kit. Now I've moved up to a 10 inch Cognito lift kit on a 22 by 14 rim with a 375 wide tire. So the stance, as you can clearly see, is uh, pretty much insane and completely illegal where Nick and I live, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, you know, it looks really good. So the tires stick out, I mean, probably eight inches or so. And that was the look that I was going for. Also have road armor front bumpers. This is the uh, Stealth series bumper. So it kind of tucks underneath, gives it kind of a pre-runner look. I never liked uh, the huge blocky like iron cross bumper. So I went with something a little bit different. Do have a 10,000 pound winch in the front and an assortment of LED cubes. I have a custom made uh, royalty core grill. You can see it says Duramax instead of uh, the Chevy emblem. And uh, just a lot of little things like, of course, window tint I got on, as well as uh, new style towing mirrors for the truck. Also, I have a really big custom made uh, chase rack on the back with a spare tire mount. This is a full size spare I have in the back with a light bar up in there. Uh, that was custom built for me. And what else do we have? Of course, we have a fast, uh, fast 95 lift pump and all the supporting mods for the lift. The front end is completely built, so you got uh, new tie rods ball joints, wheel bearings, um, axles, everything up there is built. As far as the engine is concerned, it's pretty much a stock truck. I mean, it has an EGR delete, first thing you do. It's got a three inch MBRP down pipe. It's got a five inch MBRP straight pipe exhaust to a 10 inch uh, tip for the axle dump setup. And we have a PCV rear out and a cold air intake. That's essentially it for the engine. So it's very much a stock truck, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to keep it, wanted it to be like a reliable daily driver, so to speak. So it wasn't anything, not like a twin turbo build or anything crazy like that. Um, custom built headlights, custom tail lights, and that's really about it. Oh, and a train horn. Train horn, oh train yeah, horn. we yeah, can't we forget that. We'll demonstrate that. Yes, too. yes. So all in all, like I said, um, when we met, you didn't have a lot done to it. I think it was lifted a little just bit. A, I think just the lift and wheels yeah. and tires, really. So how many years has this been like from stock when you bought it? Uh, so yeah, it's been about three years for the whole project. And it's changed a lot. You know, it's been through a couple different wraps. We had the Matt Gray Battleship wrap, which was really cool. I like that one. Yep. Um, then we just had Arctic Camo, of course. Now we're back to paint. And I'll do a, a new one for the summer, I think. Yeah, I like the color as it is now, too. I mean, all ra all the wraps were cool, I thought. But the color just says enough in itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I really like it. It's, uh, uh, silver birch metallic is the paint color for this. I know more about this truck than any of my other vehicles, and <laughs> it's my favorite by far, you know? Yeah, the truck's brought you a huge following on yeah. YouTube, obviously. Probably about half, I'd say, really follow this truck you know, of your subscribers, and that's huge. Um, considering you're mainly Chevy Corvette guy. Mainly, yeah. Known as kind of a Corvette channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm interested to, to get in it. I haven't been in this truck since it had the huge lift on it. So. Oh, you haven't been? No, no, I haven't. You're going to have fun getting in it, buddy. That's for sure. So you should see it. Troy. He got in it the other day. Are you driving or what are you doing, We buddy? can drive. I you can drive. drive? Yeah. Go ahead, dude. You're more than welcome right, to drive. It. Try it out. All right, so you guys didn't see me get in this monstrous vehicle, but I did have to jump, use both my arms to thrust myself into the driver's seat and Mike filmed that on his channel, so <laughs> you'll have to go to that to see it. So we're in the tank. Are you ready? AKA Mike? Duramax, Street TV 717 Duramax. Keys, oh, keys me. Oh, yeah, and you already know it's American because we got the American key tag. I just did a merch plug for that this morning. Did you? I finally got them back in stock. Nice. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Now we're about the same height, but I might Actually, that's not too bad. That's, I, I got it pretty, that's where I've been sitting in this thing for like three years. Three so years, so I, you're I got solid. It, I, got yeah, it, so like, I probably in. shouldn't move it. No, you can move it. I know where I'm at, but <laughs> I, if I had to move it back, but. No, we're good. So, those of you guys that know, I don't think I've ever drove this truck, let alone now on this, uh, have, what is it, a six strange. inch, you said? 10 inch lift. 10 inch, 10 inch, 10 inch, 10 inch lift. 
<laughs> All 10 inches, here we go. All 10 inches. <laughs> you know what? Um, this was well, not as high up as I thought, just like looking out at it. No, it's not, it's really not bad. Like it doesn't, no, it doesn't no, no. like it looks intimidating from the outside, but when you drive it, it's pretty reasonable. The only real big shock is like when I get out of the Corvette or the McLaren and get directly into this, yeah. then it's a huge difference that you notice. <laughs> So now you got your mirrors pointed down so you can see where your tires are. Yeah. Well, so you're yeah, not you got, going over the yellow well, or white nice. lines. Well, that's what's nice. Now you got the tow mirrors. You know you got two of the sections. Right. You can have the bottom one pointed down. Exactly. And that's what yeah. I do. Yep. Yeah. So she seems heavy. <laughs> Definitely heavy, dude. Yeah. Holy crap. You can feel it. It's a lot of weight going down the road. Dude. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of weight. Oh, yeah. The good thing is you don't have to really worry about, like, I mean, obviously you can't go around and turn at 90 miles an hour, but you don't really have to worry about it tipping one way or the other because it's like a wide stand it's so yeah, it's so wide yeah now we're gonna take it on the highway here and see uh see how it does <laughs> see how get ready for the excel you thought the freedom rocket was fast <laughs> oh wait until oh, really? you experience this oh, okay yeah this Alrighty. is like different level can we make this wide that's or right hand turn as far as you can go buddy Oh yeah, we're in the other uh, lane of traffic right now, making you, almost you a U-turn. roughly, like, no, jo all joking aside, you need roughly like 40 to 50 feet to make a circle. <laughs> like, that's probably about what you need. So take note of that, guys. If you got any back roads you're driving your shit on, don't. Yeah, it's also uh, it. like most drive-throughs are out. All banks are out. All ba I can tell you for a fact, all bank drive-throughs are out. All inner city driving is yeah, out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, now, you can get Chick-fil-A drive through works, which really, let's be real, that's all really fucking matters. Yeah, true, Chick yeah. Chick-fil-A works. The generic parking spaces, do they work? Yeah, you get the newer ones that are like paved wide work really well, like a Giant, the new Giant. Um, but older ones don't at all. Like, don't, like most restaurants, for whatever reason, have small ones. It's really tiny. So you got to park out in the middle of nowhere, essentially. Yeah. So here we go. Getting the Duramax. Here it goes. Yep. Not too bad. Almost at 60 now. That's got to be 60, right? That's yep. 60 right okay. there. Alrighty. I told you, dude, the Freedom Rocket is nothing, man. No, man. That was like, threw me back in my seat. Yeah. I was getting lightheaded. I actually it? threw up. Did you? Yeah. I was lightheaded. I had to let off. <laughs> Just the turbo whistle sounds good, I think. Yeah. You know you're driving something huge, though, when you're in this. That's the thing. It floats on the road a little bit, too. Yeah, but honestly, that's not too bad. I mean, I'm doing uh, 60 miles an hour right now, and I'm driving it with, little, essentially, my thumb. You know, it's not hard to drive. It's not, it doesn't have heavy steering that I can really, you know, feel. I yeah, mean, maybe, maybe you think otherwise. No, it, steers, it steers really nice. Yeah. Even at low speeds, it's not like... I get, you know, it's got a good power steering system, I guess, because even at low speeds, it's just yeah. really easy to turn. It does ride a little rough, just because it's, I mean, I think, it, I mean, compared to my truck, but I'm, we're talking truck, about a stock yeah. truck here. I was going to say, because it rides better now than it did with the old lift on. Does it? Yeah, okay. so for me, this is like, it's like great now. So that's the thing, if I would have, if I would have drove his truck before this, I may have had that experience. Yeah, so there's a normal uh, ride height truck next to me, and I'm, it's like I'm towering over it. <laughs> F-150 XLT. Yeah. yeah, his roof is about to the top of the tow mirror. Yeah, I'm like looking straight at his roof. <laughs> you said it's pretty funny, like 18 wheelers are taller still, but like not that much. Like an 18 wheeler guy will be like sitting probably here at this height. So it's not super, it's not that much like lower than an 18 wheeler so can, ride height. Well, you can see in it then, whereas in your yeah, car yeah, you truck, can you can't it. even see in an 18 yep. wheeler. That's pretty cool. You've towed with this, right? Yep. With this lift, everything? Yep. This exact setup. And? Fine. Oh, it's like it's not even there. It's, it's not, not even there, yeah, I would think. I noticed no difference between driving it without the trailer and driving it home from RPM, which is like 110 miles. I didn't notice a difference at all. Wow, that's pretty crazy. The only thing you'll notice, that the difference is braking. That's it. That's the only oh, thing. Oh, yeah, because you're adding weight yeah. for that, yeah. But pulling it, you, you take off, you accelerate exactly the same. That is obviously the positive on getting a turbo diesel truck. Uh, you know, it, it's a lot easier to tow smaller rigs. I'm sure you might feel it with a bigger rig. Yeah, you'd probably start feeling it around like probably eight to 10,000 pounds. Yeah. You start to feel it a little bit. A new 2500 will tow like 20 something thousand pounds. No problem. Okay. And they're rated for that. And obviously you can tow a little bit more. But I think these back, I think this was only rated for like 12 or 14,000 pounds, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, back in the day. Now, see, what you need to do is you need to get a fifth wheel, oh, and you need to do 
do a double trailer or a double stack. So we can haul the boat. We can haul yeah. both of my cars. Yeah, if you both your cars. Trailer. I was just gonna start borrowing your trailer. To be honest with you, <laughs> I knew it. I <laughs> knew it. <laughs> my, my plan was uh, to act like I was buying one, and, and then just you borrow buy my one, trailer. And I'm just gonna borrow yours. Dude. Okay, it's gonna work out perfectly. Dude, you won't even feel my trailer. Yeah, you have an aluminum one. Right? Weighs like three thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. The only problem with my trailer is uh, it's a big sail. It's light and huge, yeah. so it makes the like my truck. Your truck it might not be as bad because it's bigger, but like my st stock standard ride height, fifteen hundred. It's like when you're going on a flat road. When we drove it back from Ohio, it was like it was like death, dude. It was, like, was it really? With because the, wind, the wind was so bad. Well, not only was it, is it windy in Ohio because it's flat, yeah. but it was a windy day period, and the right. trailer was empty. True. So it's like my truck was like. All over the I'm like trying to keep my, my truck straight, you know. I rode behind. Oh boy, look at this. Where's yeah. the uh, where's the train horn? Yeah. <laughs> it's that <laughs> silver button down there. Where's it at? Right bottom left. Oh, I see it. Yeah. See what? You oh yeah. Let's see if we. Wait, oh, we gotta drive next to him. This is perfect. Oh, this is. It. Oh, here we go. So perfect. We, we, we got found next a train. To him. <laughs> we found a train. Oh, oh there they are. Responds. So I just push this. Yep, you push that button. Okay. We'll get up next to him here. Let's see if see if he responds. All right, so there's a silver button down here that's on command. It'll it'll blow the horn. So we're gonna get up next to him here. Here he is. Here's the conductor. Yeah, we got him. Woo! <laughs> that's got great. Him. That's awesome. I feel like my train horn was louder than his. I feel like it was too. <laughs> Yours had way more balls. It was like eek, eek, eek. What a savage, dude. That guy's awesome. Thank you for responding. Yes. I've done it to two trains and they don't respond. Thanks to Norfolk Southern. Yes, Norfolk Southern. We support you in any way that we can. <laughs> Use if you need a train, buy from Norfolk Southern. <laughs> dude, oh, I want shit, this on my truck. I want this on my car. I'm going to need it for the Freedom Rocket if we roll race again. You can't hear my horn anymore. I can't, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should have air horns so we know when we're going. Dude, this thing's fun, dude. I would daily this thing. There's, there's, times, there's too much to daily. No, I, I mean, I haven't been driving it that much just because I have the other vehicles that I, I need to make content with and, you know, I want to drive them too. But I there's plenty of times where it's a nice day and I could drive, I could have a choice of driving a McLaren, a Corvette, or whatever. And I choose this. Like, it's fun. And this is my baby, too. I really love it. This is where I got my start yeah. with trucks, and I really love it. You know, it's fun to drive. And it turns right. a lot of heads, too, honestly. Like, people, oh, I get sure. a lot of compliments on the truck, believe it or not. Oh, for sure. Well, this was right. fun, not going to lie. You had fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. That's all that matters. This, uh, I don't know what's better, the fact that it's lifted and looks like this, or the air horn. <laughs> I know you had fun with that. <laughs> oh, we, yeah, got, we got the perfect, for the video, the train guy was just right there. That was yeah. great. Like, that's the horn. I still have my little horn. And then it's like... <laughs> That's such a drastic difference. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's what I would have. I would have it right here, so if somebody does something stupid, I just like... <laughs> <laughs> you would. I would, I would. Well, this is a fun day. All right, riding, I'm glad you have Riding fun. in the lifted Duramax, blowing the air horn. That was probably the best part of the Nick's day. Nick's favorite part was by far the air horn. Yeah. Absolutely. Check out Mike, obviously, he's Free Speed 717. Duramax is awesome. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Now I'm like trying to figure out if I actually made the right decision buying a 1500. I but then again, like, it... It, it's the newer Duramaxes are like, they're crazy. Expensive. Yeah, they're they're really expensive. But yeah. also, people tend to be like, well, I saw comments people like, oh, you buy a diesel to tow. Your truck's gonna tow that. Truck, oh yeah. yeah, car and trailer just fine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. For those of you guys that came from Mike's channel, this is kind of how we do these uh, featured episodes. We feature a vehicle. Uh, in this case, it's a truck. We're gonna be kind of uh, going towards different vehicles, not only trucks, not just stuff like this. We're gonna be doing cars. We're gonna be doing. Um, Heck, even motorcycle stuff like that. So if you guys do my quad, maybe we'll do the quad. Right. Yeah, modify it. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, I have to modify. Yeah, whatever you modify. Yeah, we got to modify. Yeah. Right. So yeah, we're gonna be doing different vehicles in the future and all over the country, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna be doing stuff everywhere. We have guys, different uh, creators, different uh, YouTubers out there that are gonna be doing videos and featured episodes, just like I'm doing in California, in Kentucky, Florida, wherever. So um, if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.